Hello, Fast Flyers. It's Ms. Sapo here to go over with you your schedule and elective choices for the 2021-2022 school year. So let's get to it, guys. On our agenda today, you're going to have introductions to your counseling, your counselor, excuse me. I'm going to go over a block schedule explanation with you. I'm going to give you your elective options for next year. I'm going to review some frequently asked questions, and I'm going to show you the links for the Google form. The Google form with your elective selection is due by March 26th, which is next Friday. So please, 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 please do this ASAP. Our hope is that your teachers will have this, that, that is your first period teachers will have this posted in their Canvas courses for you to refer back to as needed. All right, guys, so most of you should know our wonderful principal, Mr. West. Ms. Dalton is the assistant principal who is also amazing and wonderful. Ms. Edwards is the counselor if your last name is A through L. And Ms. Sapo, I am currently your counselor if your last name is M through Z. Ms. Smith will be back in April to take over for last name M through Z. So guys, this is what your block schedule will look like for next school year. As you can see, you have period one or two from nine to 10, 15 every day. And then you have period three or four from 10, 20 to 11, 35. And then we have advisory and lunch in the middle of the day. We only have two lunches next year, lunch A and lunch B. So depending on which lunch schedule you are on would be the one that you follow. So lunch A is from 11.40 to 12.10, followed by advisory from 12.15 to 12.45. And lunch B will start with advisory from 11.40 to 12.10, and then we'll have lunch from 12.15 to 12.45. After lunch, you will go to your fifth or sixth period, which is from 12.50 to 2.05. And then after that, you will go to seventh or eighth period, which is from 2.10 to 3.25. A days are going to be periods one, three, five, and seven, and B days are going to be periods two, four, six, and eight. This is a block schedule. So those of you who have been with us before, this is a new schedule system. Here is kind of an idea of what it would look like. So your first day of school would be an A, followed by Tuesday at B, Wednesday at A, Thursday at B, Friday at A. That following week, you would go back to B. So A day and B day alternate as we go throughout the month. So schedules, guys. Each one of your classes is approximately 75 minutes long. That is one hour and 15 minutes. You will have your required classes that you will have every day. These include math, English, language arts, and some advanced performing arts classes. Classes you will have every other day will be science, history and geography, two electives, and if you are in eighth grade only, PE and health. So your schedule variations, how are you placed in between the difference, sorry, let me pull this down for you guys, the difference between um, regular courses, accelerated and double accelerated. So if you look at English and math, regular courses are grade level standards versus accelerated is instruction focused more on inquiry and analyzing skills and is based on higher order thinking and discussion-based curriculum. Now, if you are in a double accelerated for English or math, it is similar to accelerated, but at a much faster in-depth pace. Students in double accelerated are working on grade level standards as well as the grades above standards, okay? So how you are placed is based upon your teacher recommendations, your test scores, including your math score and your S and your SBAC scores. So students, block scheduling allows each student to have two electives. Elective means that you have some choice in what you get. Super fun, guys. So elective options for next year. I don't know why my thing won't go down, guys. I apologize. We have band, orchestra, choir, art, theater, and drama, business explorations. We have explorations of coding and digital skills. Seventh graders only have Exploration 7, Worlds Away, Colors of India. Eighth grade only has Exploration 8, Taking a Stand. We have STEAM, which is Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Mathematics. We have Publications, which is Yearbook, and Application is Required. And then we have Cafeteria Assistant. You must have A's and B's, and High Citizenship is Required. So physical education options, guys. So if you have a PE option, you have a choice of dance. Uh, your physical education is group games and sports. 
And then there's a group fitness option of strength and agility training. So if you are looking at band and orchestra, so band options, if it's intermediate or advanced band, you continue to play your instrument, growing your musical ability and have more performance opportunities. You must have one plus years experience, years of instrument playing experience and this year counts as one. So sixth graders can choose intermediate band, seventh graders choose advanced band, Ms. Scott will place you in the correct band. You will play the same instrument you are currently playing. This is again for intermediate or advanced band. So beginning band is for students who have never played a band instrument or want to switch to a new instrument. The options are woodwind, brass, percussion, which is only by teacher permission only, which is Ms. Scott. So instrument options. So woodwind family, we have flute, oboe, bassoon. I think it said bassoon, bassoon, bassoon. Those of you that know me know I struggle with this. Bassoon. Uh, we have clarinet, bass clarinet, alto saxophone, tenor saxophone, and a fairy saxophone. That sounds cool, fairy saxophone. If you are looking at the brass family, we have the trumpet, the horn, the trombone, the baritone, or euphonium. Euphonium, euphonium, or the tuba. <sighs> euphonium, that's a fun word. If you're looking at the percussion family, we have drums, mallets, and auxiliary instruments. You can learn them all. How fun. Look at the mock. Fun, fun, fun. So the best band at Disneyland. I'm going to let you guys watch this on your own, at your own pace. But kind of band Disneyland? Come on now. That's awesome. So... We also have the orchestra options. Oh my goodness, the string family. I skipped the slide, guys. Here we go. String family, we have violin, viola, cello, and bass. That was fun. And guess what, guys? We have an orchestra performance for you guys to look at again on your own because these presentations will be posted for you in your, Google, in your Canvas classes. All right, fun, fun time. We have choir. Oh, choir, guys. Oh, no. I apologize. I'm trying to make this thing go in the right place, guys. And it's not. Okay. So, guys, choir is singing together in harmony. There are three choirs available for 7th and 8th graders. We have the Royal Blues, which is Advanced Boys and Girls Choir. We have the Bella Vos. Again, guys, not sure if I'm saying that right. I apologize, Mr. Balthera. Advanced Girls Choir. We have Brothers in Song, which is Advanced Boys Choir. All three choirs are eligible to participate in a festival performance at the Disneyland Resort again. How awesome is that? Uh, you get to tour every year, guys. Come sing with choir. I might ask Mr. Baltair if I can join the choir. That's awesome. All right, guys, we have art. Yes, art with Miss Nay. All seventh graders that choose art will be in a beginner intermediate art class. So art is breaking up into beginning art, which covers drawing and painting. Intermediate and advanced art also cover drawing and painting. And then Ms. Nay also teaches an art enrichment class where you guys learn clay work. That's kind of fun. Introduction to drama and theater. Yes, guys. An introduction to drama and theater, students will begin with the acting basics. They need to create a successful scene. Ensemble skills, improvisation, projection, vocal clarity and expression, characterization, pantomime, objective, and tactics. You guys will learn script, goal, script structure, blocking, stage directions, and how to get and receive, how to give, receive, and apply feedback. You will explore aspects beyond acting, such as directing and simple set design. You will work on skills such as memorization, use, use of levels, and character physicality, as well as learning off-stage skills such as directing props, using theater to identify and address issues in our society through a culminating performance project. That sounds super fun. I don't know. I might want to join drama now. The advanced or choir. All right. And then we have advanced drama theater, which is seventh and eighth grade only. Okay. So in advanced drama theater, students will re review acting basics like stage movement and voice, and you will begin to explore movement, body language, simple mind, and storytelling through pantomime. We will take what you have learned from the five guidelines of improvisation, improvisation and apply that to what you learn towards the characters and Lazzi of Commedia dell'arte. Hmm, that sounds fancy. We will take a more in-depth look at objection, obstacle tactics, and stakes. 
and transition these skills to an introductory look at Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabethan theater. I can talk, guys, I promise. That's Shakespeare. Kind of so fun, guys. To be or not to be. I believe that's Shakespeare. I believe, I believe. We will review playwriting skills and structure and use this knowledge to study a, study a Western as well as Japanese style scripts. Wow. We will touch on scene design as well as exploring what's known in theater as the front of the house with an emphasis in marketing a show. We will take everything we've learned to create a culminating performance project. That's amazing. All right, guys, we have exploration of coding and digital skills. So we have coding and digital skills where you will grow with Google. That's super fun, guys. Google is so amazing. So many skills you can learn with Google. And coding, how fun. Business exploration, those of you with your business mindedness. Sixth graders, you can, well, this isn't really for you guys, but if you're in sixth grade, you can take principles of business marketing. So you seventh graders next year, you could take career exploration and business innovators. Yes. I wonder if you'll learn about the robber barons, like the Vander, like Mr. Vanderbilt. Eighth graders, financial literacy and AG ventures. Ooh. So these are one semester courses designed to introduce middle school students to a business foundation, which include exploration of business terms, marketing concepts, entrepreneurship, and leadership development. Career exploration and an introduction to career and technical education programs of study are integral to these courses. In addition, the financial literacy course will give the students the ability to understand and effectively use various financial skills, including personal management, budgeting, and investing. Yes, guys, get your business on. All right, guys, seventh grade elective only. Worlds away is colorful, colorful India. Hmm, this would be super interesting. Students will become students of India, a country very different and yet a country also very similar to ours. Physical geography, ancient historical achievements, British rule, and India's modern and rich culture and India's up-to-date status as an important country for outsourcing and as the world's largest democracy and fast developing regional powerhouse will be addressed. Further, personal empowerment lessons will be sprinkled in as the venue of explorations provides this wonderful opportunity to incorporate personal empowerment strategies and metacognition for opportunities for students. Namaste. Yes, guys. Go learn about India. That's awesome. All right, guys. Explorations 8, taking a stand. Interested in becoming a lawyer, a journalist, a politician, or in law enforcement? Do you want to know more about your rights in government? Do you love to debate about the issues? Want to make a difference in your community? Then this is the class for you. You guys will learn about your rights as a juvenile and how the court system works. You will find your voice as We the People program, where you will learn how government works, make a difference in people's lives by choosing an issue, finding a solution, and bringing it to the lawmakers. How amazing is that? Find out how people throughout history and around the world have fought for their rights. Yes. You will have guest speakers, including lawyers, police officers, lawmakers, Holocaust survivors, Las Vegas historians, civil rights movement participants, participants, and more. This is for eighth grade only, guys. STEAM. STEAM, guys. Get your STEAM on. Science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. In this course, you will learn a variety of tech and tech technology-based skills and information. How awesome is that, guys? And then we have publications and yearbook broadcast. So picture taking, guys. You're going to design yearbooks. You're going to make videos. You're going to do school announcements, graphic design. This course, guys, requires an application, okay? Only 10 to 15 seventh graders will be selected. Teacher is looking for self-motivated, high-performing students. Yeah, guys. Come be a part of the morning announcements. That's amazing. So then we have student cafeteria assistant. So guys, if you are interested in this very fun elective, it requires an AB average. You choose to assist a teacher or in the cafeteria with lunches. Um, spots are limited due to availability. So students will be selected based on grades, behavior, and citizenship. Yes, guys, get your, get your hands dirty. Do a little work. That sounds fun. All right, so if you are a current sixth grader, you are going to click this elective form right here and make your choices. Remember, you are choosing two. If you are a current seventh grader, you're going to fill out this form and make your elective choices. Remember, you're choosing two. You need to fill out your elective form with your elective selection by March 
26th, which is Friday. Today is Wednesday, guys. It gives you two days. So get on it. Make your choices. So here is our transition. It is completely normal, guys, to be feeling a mixture of excitement, fright, nervousness, especially after working in distance learning for so long. Okay, so as we transition into hybrid, there's going to be changes and different things we will need to give you, get used to, and that's all of us. Please give yourself time to adjust. Please be nice to yourself. Please know that you are not alone in this, that we're all in this together, and that we are all here to help you be as successful as you can. You guys need to enjoy every moment that we can, that you can for sure. Okay, so curriculum questions and answers. So if you have additional questions, myself and Ms. Edwards will be available today, Wednesday the 24th, and a Google Meet from 1230 to o'clock. The meet code is elective cues. Or you can email or hang out message your counselor directly. Ms. Edwards, again, is last name A through L, and I, Ms. Poe, am last name M through Z. We can't wait to meet you all, hopefully in person next year. Um, and that's from all of us, guys, Mr. West, Ms. Sultan, Ms. Edwards, Ms. Pope, and Ms. Smith. Again, guys, please refer back to this presentation to go over the electives if there was a little quick for you. Please do not forget to fill out your Google form by Friday. Make sure you click the one for your grade level for next year. So if you are a sixth grader right now, you are going to choose the one for seventh grade. If you are a seventh grader right now, you are going to choose the one for eighth grade. Guys, we are here to help you. Please let us know if you have any questions or concerns. Hope you guys enjoyed this presentation. Have a great day.